Okay, so everybody's doing this Y2K trend and I said, why not to try it out as well? So I'm gonna show you how to make this really cool composition here in Blender. First, I gotta make the text, press Shift plus A, select the text, hit Tab, rename, hit Tab again. Let's go here to the data and here you can change up the font. Let's go to the font, click on the folder and I'm gonna search for Planet Cosmos select it and click on open. If you wanna know how to install fonts in Blender, I gotta leave a link in the description. So first what we're gonna to need to do is go here to the geometry and I gotta increase the extrusion and then let's go to the bevel depth. I'm gonna add a little bit of depth and then I gotta duplicate the text, press Control C and then Control V. And here we're gonna go back to the extrusion, decrease it. I'm gonna go with like 0.05 and let's increase the depth. And I'm gonna deselect and select it again. And I'm gonna bring it down. So it's gonna look something like this. So now you can see the difference. I'm also gonna right click on it. Let's go to set origin, geometry to origin. I'm gonna repeat the same step with this one. Set origin, geometry to origin. And here I'm gonna modify the thick one a little bit more. I'm gonna add more depth. I think it looks pretty cool. After this, we're gonna create that sphere, press shift plus A, and we're gonna go to the curve, select circle. And here again, we're gonna go here to the data, increase the depth, and I'm also gonna increase the resolution preview. And I'm planning to increase the depth, so it's gonna make it thick, something like this. Press tab, or you can go here to the edit mode. And then here, what we're gonna need to do is select this path, and press Alt plus S. So now I can make this part thin or thick. So I'm gonna make this really thin here. I'm also gonna hit Tab and bring this up so I can see the difference. As you can see, it won't make it perfect, but if you got like a better solution, let me know in the comment. And I'm gonna press Shift to select these both. Press Alt plus S and make it thinner. I'm gonna hit Tab and I'm gonna select the scale and I'm gonna drag it from here and make it oval. So yeah, now you can arrange it however you like. I also gonna need to increase the resolution of the curvature. So let's go here to the resolution and add more. You can right click on it, select shade smooth and arrange this however you like, rotate it and customize it. All right, so it's gonna look something like this. Now we're gonna need to make the stars. So press shift plus A, go to mesh and select the circle. And here we're gonna go to the add circle here and decrease the vertices. And here we're gonna need to go with eight. All right, so I'm gonna also bring this out, press tab and make sure to select the vertex mode here. And I'm gonna select these vertices, press shift. So you're gonna need to select these four and you're gonna need to select this circle and drag it in. So it's gonna create this really cool star. Press A to select everything, right click on it and select new edge face from vertices. Now press the letter E to extrude. And now let's go and select the edge tool. And I'm gonna select this edge here, press shift. And I'm gonna select this one, basically all the four edges. Let's go to bevel, select the bevel. And I'm gonna bring these in, press A to select everything. And with the bevel, I'm gonna make it around. Now let's go to the bevel settings, increase the segments. I'm gonna add more width, perfect. I can press tab, right click, shade smooth, place it on the logo and arrange it. You also can make the star even more smoother, select it and add a modifier. We're gonna go with remesh. Let's go to smooth, increase the octree depth. I'm gonna try with eight, click on apply and let's add smooth corrective. Let's go and select only smooth and here you can increase the factor repeat and check this out now it's 100 smooth click on apply and about least all you need to do is go to the shader editor switch the render mode add colors and i just switched up the base color and decrease the roughness and then go to render mode change it to cycles cpu to gpu decrease the max sampling to 50 change up the object to world and here i'm gonna select the background press ctrl t and here you can add an hdri let's go and select it open and switch it to render mode and pretty much that's it thanks for watching